Hello everyone, happy Friday, I love you. I'm sending you a big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. I wanna share with you a really powerful message that came in last night and a story that I, a personal story that I went through the last 24 hours. Okay, so here it is. I live in the hills of Mill Valley and um, PG&E, which is our electric company, they were gonna be turning the power off today. So I decided to get a cabin up in Tahoe three hours away. So I booked the cabin and I packed up all my stuff and I drove three hours to Tahoe, opened up the front door to this cabin. It was beautiful, started unpacking all my stuff and I realized that I didn't have the most important piece of luggage, which is all of my work, my computer, my chargers, all of it. And so I couldn't stay, I needed, I had stuff to do and I had things planned. Um, so I was shocked and then I got back in my car at 5 p.m. It was dark and I started to drive back down the hill. But I knew that something big was just happened. I knew that this had nothing to do with me, that there was a bigger message in what just occurred, a bigger message that I now have to drive another three hours back home that I didn't have my stuff and because I just move with everything and I allow it all to just be okay, I started tapping into my guides on the drive home. They said, turn the radio off, and I did. I was connecting with my girlfriend on Vox when, we were, when I was driving back down, and I wanna set up the scene for you. I was driving through these, this mountain road, right? This mountain pass, and in front of me was J Jupiter and Saturn in the sky. That's all I saw, and the moon. So these two beautiful planets were leading me back home. And that wasn't by mistake that I was seeing that. It was the power of the moment that we are in right now, not the 21st, not any date, the power of the moment that we are in right now. And as I'm talking to my girlfriend, Brandy, all of a sudden my entire body starts to get goosebumps, like all up and down my body, full body goosebumps, and I start to bawl, crying, like massive crying. And I hear my guides come in and they said, you guys just dodged a bullet. That's not the words they use, that's the words I'm using. They showed me visions, they showed me energy of what it felt like and they said to me, the human collective just dodged a timeline that was very dark. They dodged the timeline that was going to be a longer route through. Now you know that no matter what route we take, we always get to the end. We always complete this mission. We, we find ourselves in heaven on earth, 5D, new earth, whatever you wanna call it. But it's a matter of what route are we gonna take? How dark does it need to get? And it doesn't need to get dark. It doesn't need to get dark. They said, and I don't know what they mean by we just dodged a bullet, but basically we were able to raise the frequency of the human collective enough to jolt out of one timeline and jump into another. And somehow, there would, had we not shifted at a specific time, we would have found ourselves on the trajectory of this darker timeline. Darker meaning more chaos, more control, more manipulation, um, possible blackouts, like literally like no internet, no like that kind of blackout, um, and other things. I don't really want to get into what they showed me, but what's important is that we shifted it. And they said, you need to tell the human that their light is shifting the entire human collective. Your light is shifting probabilities. And the, the problem is that you don't see that. So there's millions of humans that are going about their day right now that have no idea that we just shifted the entire timeline. That we just shifted the entire timeline into a more positive or light-filled probability. We did that and we're continuing to do that. And so as I'm driving down the mountain, crying, goosebumps, my guides are coming in. I'm seeing Saturn and Jupiter directly in front of me. A dear friend of mine FaceTimes me and I'm, he's on the phone and I'm telling him what happened. And I said, we're doing this. We are literally shifting the entire collective. Our, our work matters. Our energy matters. Our light matters. And as I'm saying this to him, a huge shooting star goes through the sky. And I never see shooting stars. I see craft, but I don't see shooting stars. Right in front of Jupiter and Saturn, the shooting star goes across. And so everything that was coming through last night was about the, the magic of what we're in right now. 
and the power of your intention, the power of what painting are you looking at? Are you focused on the fact that we're, there's stories and narratives that we're not gonna have food for a certain amount of time, we're not gonna have power for a certain amount of time, we're not gonna have internet. You realize that if you are focused on that, then that is the timeline that we're going to move down. If you focus on the timeline that you want, we are literally shifting the collective into that timeline we already just did. We just did. We don't have to wait until the 21st to do this. We can do it right now and we are continuing to do it. So please, please, if you take anything from this message, you being here, you focused on the higher states of consciousness by being the higher states of consciousness, you clearing out your trauma, feeling all of your feelings, speaking your truth, Everything that you are doing on a daily basis is making a massive impact on the entire human collective. I don't know how else to get this across to you. And what we just jumped out of, we did it. We did it. We pulled ourselves out of something. We pulled ourselves out of a lower timeline. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing. And you can believe me or not believe me, but what I felt last night, what I saw last night, what I experienced right last night is real. And we're gonna continue to shift this entire human collective. And the forces that be that are battling that light that are trying to pull us into fear, pay attention to whether you are playing in that narrative. If you find yourself playing in these narratives, these storylines of what's gonna happen, I'm telling you right now, they're not. Pull yourself into that higher timeline and then the next highest timeline and then the next. We have never ever in the entire history of the human experience been able to do what we are doing right now and it is because we are holding such high frequency in our bodies and the planet is receiving so much light that we can jump. So I'm so proud of us. I am so proud of us for everything we have done. The beings of light that are around us they're super chill, by the way. My guides were like, yeah, you guys dodged a bullet. It was real close. You almost made it down that timeline, but you you jumped. And I was like, why are you so chill about this? Like, this is massive. You know, they don't have emotion. They're not like, oh my God, thank God you guys did it. They don't, they don't do that. Um, they're very just like, yeah, you guys just, you know, dodged that bullet. And now you're in a, a timeline that's in a higher frequency. So you won't be going down that space. A mandated vaccine in the United States, meaning every single person has to take a vaccine no matter what, not happening, it's not happening. I don't know about other countries, hopefully, you know, that those, all the countries can dodge that bullet, you know, um, and it's very possible that we will. It's very possible that we will dodge the mandated, meaning every single human has to take a vaccine no matter what. Not mandated if you're working, mandated if you have to go to school. I'm not talking about that kind of mandation, okay? I'm talking about every human has to take a vaccine no matter what. We've dodged that bullet. We've dodged that timeline. Keep going. Please keep focused. Keep shining your light. Keep speaking your truth. Keep standing up for what you believe is your freedom, your choice. Do it. Keep doing it. It's making a difference. And do it from love. Do it from compassion. Do it from empathy. Do it from your light. Because that is how we shift it. That's how we shift this. Not from anger, frustration, rage, getting back at someone, yelling at someone, belittling somebody. We don't do it that way. We do it from love, the frequency of love, the frequency of compassion, the frequency of empathy. The frequency of understanding. It's unbelievable what we're doing. I could go on and on and on and talk about this, but it's really unbelievable. I'm grateful to be here with you. I'm grateful to be walking down this miraculous path with you. I'm grateful to be shifting timelines. We're getting stronger and stronger. We're getting more courageous. We're starting to understand what we're doing. And please, 
know that your light is making a massive impact on the entire human collective. I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you for everything you've gone through in order to be here in this now moment.